Welcome to AZ 24-7, I'm Aaron Dean. Well, the U.S. job market cooled off in June, according to the federal government, adding just 209,000 jobs and coming in below expectations. But what do the numbers mean for strategy, inflation ahead, and the overall economy? Well, the Advocate Channel's Karen Kefa has those details. The U.S. jobs market starting summer with a cool down. Not too hot, not too cold. Uh, I think it's exactly what the Federal Reserve would be looking for. The Labor Department said Friday that U.S. employers added 209,000 jobs in June, a drop from May's hot pace of 306,000, and missing economists' expectations, but giving hope that the U.S. will dodge a recession amid the Federal Reserve's efforts to stem inflation. The data, the Bureau of Labor Statistics data, I think are consistent with where the Fed wants to see the economy going. The June numbers mark 30 consecutive months of job growth for the U.S. economy. The unemployment rate ticked down to 3.6 percent, the Biden administration touting another streak. We've had 17 straight months of an unemployment rate that is under 4 percent. We haven't seen that since the 1960s. Many economists think the U.S. is on track for a soft landing with higher interest rates curbing inflation but not tipping the U.S. economy into a recession. It definitely is starting to look more likely. Inflation is coming down quite meaningfully and wage growth has been moderating steadily uh, and that suggests that inflation could keep coming down in the coming months. After a pause on its aggressive rate hiking campaign in June, the Federal Reserve will make its next decision on interest rates on July 26th. In Washington, I'm Karen Kefa. Well, how much money do you feel that you need to be financially secure or even rich? Well, in the survey, people said that they would need to earn on average $233,000 a year to feel financially secure and that they would need to make $483,000 a year to feel rich or to attain financial freedom. To put those numbers into perspective, the median earnings for a full-time year-round worker in 2021 was just over $56,000. More than 2,500 adults in the U.S. took part in this bank rate survey. 72% said that they did not currently feel financially secure, although 46% said that they expect to someday. The top reason cited for not feeling secure today, 63% said it was due to high inflation. It looks like Elon Musk isn't happy about Mark Zuckerberg's new social media platform. His lawyer sent Meta a cease and desist order to stop using what he calls Twitter trade secrets in a new app called Threads. Musk's legal team alleges Meta hired former Twitter employees to develop Threads. Meta claims no one on the Threads engineering team is a former Twitter employee. According to Meta, more than 50 million people downloaded Threads in the first 24 hours. The West Virginia State Police is under fire after an anonymous letter exposed the academy for misconduct towards its female population. Well, one of those allegations is a hidden camera inside a woman's locker room. The Advocate Channel's Bryn Gingrass reports on the civil lawsuit filed against the agency. That's all I wanted to do my entire life was to be in law enforcement. And now that you know, I'm going on 13 years this year, and I, I can't even view law enforcement the same as I have. Megan Talkington and Brenda Lesnett, active law enforcement in the state of West Virginia. Their dream job. But now everything has changed. I don't want my daughter to walk the halls of the West Virginia State Police Academy. Not unless there's reform from top to bottom. Both women now suing the agency that trained them after an anonymous letter written to top state officials, including the governor and lawmakers, went public in February, alleging widespread misconduct within the walls of the West Virginia State Police Academy, including a hidden camera system inside the women's locker room. I was shocked to hear that that happened. I was completely appalled. And the more I thought about it, the angrier I got. Sitting here today, I still feel exposed. And I'm constantly wondering who's going to see me next, who has already seen me. It's very nerve wracking. Those thoughts are just constantly in your mind. Yes, am I going to have to deal with this the rest of my life? Ten years from now, is this going to show up on the dark, re on the dark web, on the regular web? I don't know. I'm Every sure female that has gone through that academy, civilian or for law enforcement training, is a victim. How many are we talking here? Possibly there could be thousands. Hundreds, if not thousands. It's a hostile, misogynistic, toxic environment that's not just male-dominated, it's anti-woman. 
Attorney Teresa Torseva represents about 70 women who have similar allegations, including minors who took part in a junior program at the academy. I don't know how, how in the world many things could be much, much worse than that. The state doesn't dispute a camera existed. This is how Governor Jim Justice publicly addressed it in March. There were three troopers that found a thumb drive. And absolutely from that, they found the video. And then, from what I understand, one, if not all, you know, immediately jerked the thumb drive out and threw it in the floor and started stomping on it. Justice replaced the head of the agency and pinned the act on a high-ranking academy official who died in 2016. You don't think he was the only one responsible? Common sense tells you he wasn't the only one responsible. It just doesn't make sense, it doesn't add up, and it feels like you're blaming somebody who can't speak for themselves. Torres Ava's team names three current and former state police employees who they say are responsible for the recordings in a recently filed civil lawsuit. The first in what will be a long list of similar civil action taken. It's a risk you guys are taking to file a lawsuit while you're still working. What do you fear? I fear retaliation. I feel I fear Brenda and I are going to have a target on our backs. There are two open state investigations. We're going to clean it up. Where those stand unclear. We reached out to Justice's office and the West Virginia Department of Homeland Security and got no response. The state police said no comment. Officials haven't reached out to the alleged victims either. Crickets. It's disheartening. It is outrageous. I feel like this hasn't been taken seriously. I think that there needs to be more investigation, a more thorough investigation, and I think that we all want answers. Bryn Gingras, CNN, Charleston, West Virginia. Everyone knows you're not supposed to bring a gun onto an airplane. That's one of the main reasons security checkpoints do exist. But it hasn't stopped thousands of people from trying. TSA says that it has intercepted more than 3,300 guns this year. 92% of them were loaded. That number has been steadily climbing, except in 2020 due to the pandemic. If you're trying to bring a gun on an airplane, it will cost you a $15,000 fine. It's legal to travel with a gun. You just have to put it in a checked bag. You also have to tell the airline and make sure that it's not loaded. According to the U.S. National Center for Environmental Prediction, experts say that climate change is making heat waves more common and more powerful. The Advocate Channel's Mandy Gaither has more on what the extreme temperatures do to your body and your mind and how to stay safe. It's the deadliest weather event in the U.S. Every year, the heat causes more than 700 deaths on average and more than 67,000 emergency room visits. It doesn't take much. It can be an hour or two that can lead to um, the cells and tissues of the body starting to feel the effect of it. Dr. Ian Sin with Mayo Clinic says in the heat, your body tries to cool off in several ways. When the temperature is extremely high, it becomes harder for your body to cool itself down. The most serious heat-related illness is heat stroke. Sen says when that happens, it can hurt not only the brain, but other organs like the heart, lungs, and kidneys as well. It's almost an inflammation that gets created. There is destruction of proteins, the, um, the membranes of the cells, and that leads to um, cell death. To keep your body safe in the heat, stay hydrated with water, avoiding sugary beverages, which can add to dehydration, stay cool in an air-conditioned area, and wear lightweight, light-colored, loose-fitting clothes. Sin says those who are most vulnerable to the heat should avoid it. If there's any cause of concern, definitely seeking health care is important. For Health Minute, I'm Andy Gaither. Thank you for joining us for AC 24 seven. For more, you can go to the advocatechannel.com and subscribe on the advocate channel YouTube page for AC 24 seven. I'm Aaron Dean.